anymore. Kids aren't so much um, running and jumping and merry-go-rounding and rolling down hills. So they aren't always sure how, how to make their body move the way it's supposed to move. So that's what we're trying to replicate here. So the first exercises kind of help them figure out those movements where they are in space and integrating some reflexes, some primitive reflexes. We kind of went out slowly, recruited some teachers, um, people that were interested in doing it with their class, and we kind of started there with just a few classrooms here and there with um, teachers that were able to work that into their uh, daily schedule. And so then the district kind of started looking at it and thought, hey, this could be great for every classroom. So this year we picked four pilot schools to be a little more involved in to get them going on the path, and we're hoping to have great results. We did a pretty intensive in-service with all the teachers and all the people that would be involved, so they had a good foundational knowledge of what was expected and what the outcomes could be. So about the beginning of October, they started with the reflex exercises because that's the most important part of the program. So they were expected to do that at least twice a week, um, all four, and then if they can work one or two in in their classrooms in between um, work that they're doing there, that's all the better. So they worked on that for two to three weeks and then we introduced the stations which are meant to kind of hit all those sensory systems. Some vestibular with the spinning, um, proprioceptive with jumping, there's rolling, um, working on balance, working on eye-hand coordination. So they started that um, about the beginning of November. So they haven't been going long but you can definitely already see improvements with how kids are moving, how they're able to maintain their posture and they're, they're just stronger in their motions. The research that Athena did had shown that um, after eight plus months of doing this program, kids improve their scores in reading and math for sure. Um, and so the idea is you're, they're better organized in their body so they can sit in their desk and so that when they look up to the board, their body hasn't moved so that they've lost their place on their paper. Those are the kind of ways it, it crosses over into the classroom. This isn't meant to replace recess. It's not meant to replace PE. You know, recess, they need that free exploration. Uh, but hopefully they're taking some of the things they've learned here and now they feel confident enough to do the monkey bars or to do the swings or to play ball because they might not have had that skill before. The classroom teacher is meant to be the leader. We're here to kind of teach and consult and kind of get them started, but then the teacher is in charge of their classroom. And as you can see, they've been doing a great job. The kids really respond to them. They're well organized and so they're moving through things in an efficient manner because we don't want to take away from their classwork. So if they can get in and get out in 30 minutes or less, that's the goal, and the teacher is the, is the leader of that. Pretty quickly after they begin, we hear things like, it seems like the energy level of the classroom has come down. Um, you know, sometimes they already see improvements in handwriting and neatness and writing on a line. Um, and a great thing is, is we've always talked about incorporating movement into the classroom. Now they have some great ideas to draw from. So after lunch, when they come in after from recess and they hit that lull about an hour later, they say, let's get down and do popcorn. You know, so it's some easy things they can implement in the classroom too to help that uh, the kids focus all day long. At the end, we want to do some kind of cool down because as you can see, the energy level can get high. We try to alternate a real high energy activity with more of a low, calming, quieter activity, but they do get excited. So what we want to do is pull them back together before they head back to their classroom. So just a few minutes of quiet, deep breathing, um, you know, music, something to get them centered again, then they can quietly line up and get back to business.